We doing anything fun and special? Huh? Okay, you want to start out the intro? What's happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode of Debo's Fishing and whatever you want. What's happening, fish and friends? Fish and fish and friends. Ready? What's happening, fish and friends? Me and Debo are out today. We want to get out here on the water. But no, seriously. Um, just the other day, Debo talked about his top five fishing lures for summertime. You don't need super scumminess to fish a frog. And this looks super froggy and even fishier. Well, I don't think I could have said it any better myself. This does look pretty darn froggy to me. Old Cinderella finally got out of bed. I was throwing the uh, buzz toad there for a little bit. Had one blow up, but it looks promising over here. We got kind of that mix of scum and dirty water. Something just rippled right back there behind him. Uh, enough talking. We got a whole bunch of vultures watching over us. Hopefully the vultures are good luck. I don't know, but uh, let's go catch some bass. I Yeah, I've got one and tried it, but it just like a frog just walks better and floats better and yeah. Yo! Get him. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I got him or not. I'm dragging the whole branch with it. Ah! Huh? Oh, this is why you have the 65 pound braid. Oh, he's still on there. Uh. Huh? Nope, there we go. Broke that branch off. Um, no. I don't think he's still on there. I think he's off. Oh my gosh, he's still on there. <laughs> Oh, there we go 65 pound braid broke the branch look at that gosh that fish station is rank Whew. look at that throwing the old reaction innovation swamp donkey this is not a swamp donkey by any means but stop there we go all right well first one of the day fitting it's a debo dink but it's on the frog so i don't care what y'all say i'll take it i'll take it on the frog little pounder go back Little, little one pounder. That was by the wood in front of a pipe. I drug that whole daggum tree out of there. You guys probably can't see him. There's turkey vulture right above us. Hopefully they all come up and carry you away. Quarter ounce jig is a little bit, uh, a little bit light. Not gonna lie. Well, I was thinking more, more for the sheer fact of just not being so gear staring hot. Stop it, stop it. You're so wily. My first time fishing. <sighs> Your dad outfished you then too, didn't he? Thanks, buddy. See you later. Thank you, Colin. You know what I like? What? When you get that sweat that runs down into your eye, after you would put uh, deet in on your on your head, it doesn't burn at all. Squabble a douche. Did you hear it? He splashed right here in front of me. Got him. That's the little guy. He was eating. That wasn't anything special on my part. That was just me watching the fish and throwing it after it. Okay, well, it's a Debo Dink episode on uh, today's. About fell in there. About fell in a little close to the edge. All right. Another one, you don't even go a pound. Thanks for eating the frog, though. Whoa. Something did something right there. Not a big one. Not a big one. That's another frogfish, though. Dang it. Look at that. The old hooks in the side of the old mouth. Love it. Love it. Could do it all day. Love it. Remember that one time I asked you to smell my fingers here? No. You don't remember that time? No. Oh. 
Um, oh man, smell this. No, I'm not smelling. Smell, smell it. Get out of here. Can you smell it though? No. It's that chemically stuff. Just smell my fingers. No, I'm not smelling your fingers. Get out of here. All right, there we go. Another little pound, dude. Apparently, it's a bunch of pounders up here. Thanks for eating the frog, though. All frog fish are welcome on Debo's fishing. I mean, really, any fish is welcome on Debo's fishing, but especially, especially those fish that eat the frogs. Oh! Stop it. Stop it. You're all hopped up. My, yep. Look at how weird he looks. It's like he's weird. Hey, dude, everybody's an individual. Ah, deet sweat. And they grow super fast, kind of like those, what are those, uh, those snakes? On him? Yep. He's deep. You gotta say he's deep. He's pale. light, pale. He's pale ale. See you, buddy. Oh my God. I'm sorry, dude. There's a, a rock right there. That was me. Oh. Brandizzle with those fire, fire fish releases. I don't know what that means. What's a fire fish release? Oh. Can you stop saying fire? Why? Because it's dumb. Fire is what all the all the uh, all the youth of today say. And then they also say bruh. Bruh, that was fire. I literally every time I, I put something on like a wide gap hook, yeah. I always forget which way I need to pull the hook out first. Belly. Belly. Well I know that's always the belly, but I'm like, yeah, it's the belly. And then I talk myself out of it. Came up out of that water after it. Not a big one. Not a big one, but he's eating a frog. And I've done something to that handle. That handle's struggling. All right, there we go. Another little dude on the frog. Man, none of them have been big. Just a bunch of shallow pound bass, but dang it, that's on a frog. And that's fun. Go. Slow. Slow is how they've been wanting it. Super slow. Think you're going too fast? Slow down. <clears throat> what was that thing that you were talking about earlier today? braid and an extra heavy rod I think it's six of one half dozen of another oh yeah it's big he's big I think so oh yeah um do you want me to bring him over here if there's There's no fish, is there? Is this real life? I wonder why I lost him at. Dangle! Did you see it? He was full dangled? Full dangle. And I'm stuck in the tree over there by you. Can you get that? Whoa! Oh. Did you just fall? No, it hit me right in the shoulder. Thanks, buddy. How mad would you be if I caught a, if I cast over here and caught a six pounder? 
I mean, did we know it was a six pounder before we got onto the land? What do you mean? Before you like put your hands on it, did we know it was six pounds? No, I'm just saying like if I if I throw over here and a six pounder hits it and I catch it, assuming that's the big one that hit yours, how mad would you be? Well, like, would you push me in? No, because you wouldn't catch it. Why? Oh, seriously, I'd cut your line. It's a big one, dude. I mean, big. I mean, big. I mean, big. No, it's not. Oh, but it's got a bunch of stuff with it. Gosh, this is why you throw the 65 pound braid because you have 10,000 pounds of slop with it. Is it still on? Yeah. Oh, it's still on. <laughs> oh, and I just fell in. Oh, you fell off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Might have just fell in halfway there. Wasn't watching where I was going. Yeah, I'm lucky I didn't grab a hold because I would have snapped your rod now. That's what I grabbed onto. All right, well, there we go. All that work for another pounder on the frog. It's been a grind of pounders on frogs, but uh, they're on frogs, so we appreciate it. Thanks, guy. Remember that karma when you were like, I want you to fall in earlier this morning? <laughs> That's your karma. All right, fish and friends, that was the end of the trip. Unfortunately, didn't find any more fish, but it didn't matter to me because everything I caught that day was on the frog. That happens to be the Reaction Innovation Swamp Donkey in that black, purple. It's got like a black with blue lines on it on the belly. Good dark color. I've honestly been throwing mainly black frogs this year more anytime. Low light, daylight, doesn't matter. Black has done really well for me. So I like those. Um, they look very similar to the Sprinker frogs. And these are much cheaper. I think they're only like eight bucks. So good frog. I've had good luck with it. I'm enjoying those. Now, I am lucky and thankful I can still get out fishing right now. There's a lot of people that can't do that right now. So anytime I'm above ground and I can still get out and fish, it's a good day. Catching fish, dinks or not, that's just an added bonus. Okay, so the combo, that's still that seven foot four heavy, lose speed stick, $80 rod. So far, it's been doing pretty well. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full review on this. Uh, as you saw, I pulled in a whole tree on that first fish. Rod didn't snap or anything. Thank goodness it was a very big branch. But um, so far, it's held up well as a budget frog rod. Uh, I've liked it. Again, the Revo X, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a review on this too because as you've noticed the past few videos, the handle was clicking pretty bad. Um, I figured that out. We're going to talk about that in my review because I fixed it and it hasn't done it since. So the braid, 65 pound Calyx braid. Uh, it's a very affordable braid, not very expensive. One of you subscribed fish and friends sent it in to me. Uh, and I've honestly been pretty, uh, pretty amazed with it so far. I haven't had any breaking issues, fraying issues. Um, Castability has been fine for a, a very budget friendly braid. It's done well. So I'm going to do also a video on that, comparing a few different braids and stuff. I get questions on that. I've got a lot trying to come down the pipe. I'm going to try to be doing three, maybe four videos a week for you all, trying to get some more content out because, uh, well, I can. And I've had a bunch of people passing on good ideas for videos. So if you've got a specific video that you really want to see, Tackle Bag's going to be coming soon. That one's like a year overdue. I've got a few others that people have been asking for. If there's a specific video that you want to see, comment below and let me know. But otherwise, tonight's subscribe fish and friend is Ben Wilkie. Ben, thank you very much for watching and supporting. Everybody else, thank you all. Again, my channel's done way more than I thought, so it's all because of you. I appreciate you all, but got to edit, so that's enough for me. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.